it's your boy Lester. It's your girl Tanya. And we back with another video. Okay, so today we're gonna be doing a little story time about how I found out I was pregnant. So yeah, let's just get into the video. So I found out I was pregnant. I don't know the date. I forgot the date it was. I think it was like in 2015. No. Yes, it was, but oh, I had him yeah. in 2016. 2015. I was 14 when I found out I was pregnant. I didn't know I was pregnant. I went through what? The whole, I got pregnant, what? she said February 14th. Like, around Valentine's Day. Yeah. And but, then, but I think you were pregnant in 2016. Yeah, because I had him November 3rd, 2016. Yeah. So you were not 15, 16. No, because I was 14, so it was 2015. But it's it's weird because the, It's somewhere, the it's somewhere be, between there, yeah, it's like a little bit, kind of, I can't really remember. But I found out I was pregnant when I was 14. I didn't, I didn't even know I was pregnant. I kind of did, did know and didn't know because I just didn't get my period for like a couple, like a month and some change. And then one day my mom just decided to say, oh, call the um doctors and you, so you and your sister could go get birth control or whatever. So I called them and then we went to doctors. And then we went to doctors like probably like a week later. And then... She did a pregnancy test and she said that I couldn't get the birth control. And then that's when I was like, why? And she said, because you're pregnant. And then my heart just dropped. Because I didn't know like what to do. Because I was only like 14. And then that's a man. He got a big mom. So then I found out I was pregnant or whatever. And then... I thought she was playing, so I had made her give me two more tests, and they all came back positive, so that's how I knew it was serious. And then, after that, I told my mom, she came and got me, I told my mom, and she was not happy, like, she was like, I don't know, I don't know if, like, disappointed or, like, I don't know, but she was just crying, and then... I had told her, and she was like, oh, you're not keeping it, stuff like that. You're too young. You still got, like, school and all this other stuff she was saying. And then she made me call the, the um, what is it called? Planned Parenthood. While, <clears throat> excuse me, while we was in the car, she made me get, call make an appointment. And then she started to tell my grandma and my sister. They was like, oh, we knew it. We knew it. We already knew. And then after that, I had went home and then I had called him and I was going to go to his house. But no, I told you, I called you and told you I had something to tell you. Yeah, and then, then that's when I came outside. I think y'all came. Well, I think we met you. You was walking, we met you on the creek, like the backside part. No. We no, y'all y'all was walking from back there. And oh yeah. Y'all called me to come outside, so I came outside and they showed me the paper. Like and the I was proof like, of oh, so, so you for real. <laughs> and that that right there was a shocker for real. Like I was only what, fifteen? No, sixteen. Oh, sixteen. I was sixteen. I'm like, I don't know, you know, like, what what I'm going to do. I was 16. He was, he was, but it was even, I'm he was pretty, nervous. That's what, I, I didn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect for him not to be nervous because I was scared. Shit, I was crying. So, I was just in shock still. And, like, and then, having a baby that young, that I feel like. Once you get older and you realize, like, 14, 16, that's not really 
the age right. that you want your kids to be having kids, right. basically. Yeah. And then <clears throat> after that, we had was like, I don't know, you told your grandma the same day or did I tell her? Yo, you told her, right? Oh, I think I did. No, somebody already told my I think aunt, my mom. I my mom did. Yeah. I think my mom had texted her. Whatever. She texted she, her or whatever or whatever. She came and asked me. She's like, Tell you pregnant? I was like, <laughs> oh, how do you know? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm guess and I guess somebody told her and then Yeah, so I don't know how how they found out. I don't really know. I think my mom told her. I'm not really sure, but then that's when like like everything like in my mom's house. Okay. Okay. And then that's when my mom you I could tell she Amir, hold on. I could tell she was like disappointed in me because because from that day on she was like she wasn't really talking to me that much. And then it was time for me, the day came for me to go to the appointment at the the um, Planned Parenthood place. And I had called and canceled it, but I didn't tell her that I canceled it. I just left with my grandma and we went somewhere. And then I came back and she was like, so this must mean that you keeping the baby. And she was like, I'm not, it's not, I'm not, it's not that I'm mad at you. Wait, you was there, remember? She, she was like, it's not that I'm mad at her. It's just, I'm just disappointed. I didn't expect for her to have a kid this, this early. Remember, wasn't you right there when she said that? I don't think I was, no. You wasn't? Where is that? At her house. When we was living over there by um the store by 7-Eleven. I did come there. I don't think I was there for that part. I think you was, because she was, she had hugged me, then she had hugged you. I remember. Um, <laughs> I, I just can't remember you. if you was there or not, but... <clears throat> Yeah, then she was just like, I'm not, it's not that I'm, dis it's not that I'm um, mad, it's just that I'm disappointed because I didn't expect for um, you to have a baby this early and, you know, stuff like that, which I expected for her to be, like, disappointed because I don't think nobody wants their daughter to be having, out here having sex, yeah, having no at damn 14, kids. Yeah, at 14, 16, that's really, once you get older and you look back at it, you're like, wait, that was tight. Mm -hmm. Young for that uh, baby, yeah. Because I was thinking I'm gonna have like everybody over exaggerate and it's not that serious, you know, stuff that like shit, that. that shit was but then serious. once I got older, I was like, I kind of understood why she was disappointed or like upset because I wouldn't want my son to be like getting nobody pregnant at no age of 14. Like, I wouldn't want that. So right. I kind of understood what why she was upset and then. When the day came for me to go to that appointment, I ain't go. I called and I straight canceled that shit. I was not about to go. <laughs> I was not about to go. I wasn't about to do that. I don't know. Something in me, just I just couldn't do it. I don't even think I called and told you that I canceled it. I just didn't go. And then, like, my family, like, my aunts and them, they was all mad. Like, they was like, you don't need to be having no effing baby at no 14 and all this and all that. And I think my mom was more so mad, disappointed because she, by the time my mom was 19, she had me, my me, my sister, me, and my brother. So it was probably like she didn't want us to go down that path that she went down. So I think that's why she was a little bit like, uh-uh. Like, that's not about to happen. But if I don't know what happened with, like, his grandma and, like, his side of the family. I don't know what they were saying to him. Like, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what they were saying to him. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. I didn't know his some, aunt some said, said like keep no. It, some said don't. So right, it was that was kind of both our sides of our family though. They was both like because we was young. When he was sixteen, I was fourteen. It's like it's no way that we should it was even like be out here like doing that stuff. You want to be honest. But, I mean, she, I don't know. But eventually, then once, like, days st started passing and everything, everything just was, like, what, normal, I could say? Yeah. And then, that's when, 
I don't really want to call it a complication. I had I had to go to the hospital with him, and I was what, probably like three months, four months, and I had to stay there for like three days because I had the kidney infection. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So <clears throat> yeah, I had got a kidney infection. And I was pregnant with him, and I had to stay in the hospital for like three days. And that shit was painful. Uh, that shit was painful. And then. Everything kind of went back to normal. My mom and that was the worst part of the whole thing was the labor part. I don't. I don't. Do my you tell my business? Don't hmm? do that. You my business? Don't do that. Anyways, he he was panicking. He was walking back and forth. Pacing the room, was, brushing was, his hair. I yes, was you was. You wasn't brushing your hair in the hospital. Yes, you was. I was brushing my yes. hair in the hospital. Yes, you were sitting there. You just kept brushing. You just kept going. Just kept going. He yeah. just kept no, brushing I, his hair. I don't think I was. Doing yes, that. you was brushing my hair. At, yes, because you was about nervous. To have labor? But the thing that's crazy, not while I was about to, I was in labor. The thing that's crazy is. I will only have contractions whenever he went to school. Like, whenever he left to go to school when I was at home, the contractions just came. And then one morning, I was having brass in his contractions, and that was, like, November 1st, right? Because remember, I had went there, and then I had, we had to go back the next day, basically? Second. Yeah, like, the second, I, I had to go to the hospital because I was having contractions, and they said that it was nothing. And then I went back the next day, and then he just popped out. So they could have just kept me, but I... I was in labor for a minute. I went, got, I went, I went in labor at probably like 10 o'clock, right? Because they had came and got you from school, and I didn't have him till like 9, 16 that night. That pain kicked my ass. Man, I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I thought everybody was like, pain, uh, the, the um, labor hurt and this, this, and this. I thought they was playing, but uh-uh, that shit hurt it. <laughs> I done passed out. For you oh, to be there crazy. and see the baby come out of there, it's like, that, that is like shocking. Like, yo. Uh -uh. See, my aunt had a video. So That's the end of this video. Yeah, so I want to say something too. If there, if there is kids watching, so don't like, how can I put it? Like. Don't rush. Yeah, don't rush sex and... Just because you see people having kids and they make it look easy, it's, it's not, not really that easy. Mm -mm. So I wouldn't say, or oh, to look forward to doing that, yeah. but Good. like graduate high school, go to college, do that type like, of stuff. Like enjoy your you life. Make sure you like. Comment and subscribe. And turn on the post notifications so you don't miss a single update of our, from our channel. Bye-bye.